Nichols. Robbo, hello. Hello, Jared. We open under a real pool of sadness tonight as football recognises one of its largest figures over more than four decades. Matt Rendell's playing days at Fitzroy are so fondly recounted. His coaching at St Kilda and Collingwood, his recruitment across the league, and then his move into a, a rather splendid media performer, particularly during really trade week. Matt suffered a heart attack on the weekend and he has passed away today. This has been felt right across the football world. His family's about to join us and I know Bundy was your kind of footy. Oh, he's, he's everyone's. I think he's everyone's kind of footy person. I, I got emotional when I spoke about it on on Monday night. He, um, I, I've known him off and on. I mean, off and on. I've known him for a long time. I had some incredible discussions with him. Just a very quick story. Bundy is as forthright, and I'm going to ask his son James when he comes on. He's as, as forthright a footy person I've ever met, and I really admire. People have got the courage and fortitude to speak their mind. And I rang him up one day to do an interview with him. And he thought I was ringing him up to have a chat. And I was ringing him up to do an interview. So when I wrote what he said to me and put it in the paper, I wake up the next morning and he's ringing me and go, what have you done? I said, it was an interview. Not one other person rang me to say, geez, Bundy was over the top. Because that's how he spoke on the record and off the record. So it didn't matter. He just spoke his mind. He, had, he, he loved the game. He loved the people in the game. Uh, he knew a lot about the game. That's what gets overlooked a little bit with Matthew Rendell. He's a really good football person. Not everyone's cup of tea, but that's OK. But it's an incredibly sad day for clearly for his family. And he all was the footage. most forthright thinking that Collingwood could rebound immediately after Nathan Buckley and that proved yeah, prescient. Yeah. And he was also... He gave rise to that famous back page where the Giants... And the Suns were given those draft picks How many? and ha hand them the next ten <laughs> cups on a platter. Yeah, he made some he made some extravagant comments. When, yeah, and and he he was such a bit like Mark Williams. He was he had such an allegiance to the in, Indigenous people of of Australia, and it was really unfortunate with what happened with with him in the AFL. And but he he was such a pioneer with the Indigenous and giving opportunities and getting the most for uh, the Indigenous players of our, of our competition. So, yeah, incredibly sad. We, we had the smallest family connection to him. When I was really little, Dad was heavily involved in the Fitzroy Football Club. And when he first came across from South Australia, Dad was his player sponsor in his first year at Fitzroy. So, yes, it's, it's the, the ripple effect through so many years in footy. His son James wanted to be with us tonight. Uh, and... I can't imagine how that how difficult that is. Yeah. But he wants to speak about his dad. James Rendell, thanks for being with us at a time like this. No, it's good to be here, guys, and I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to pay tribute to my dad um, on such a well-respected platform. I think we would like to start by passing on to you, James, is the, the outpouring across the football world right now from those that he played with and against, those that Matt coached alongside, and from a lot of media people who so enjoyed his both his company and his sometimes outlandish way of thinking. So there is this, for whatever it's worth, James, there's this incredible embrace of the football world for, for you, your mum and your brother. Yeah, look, um, obviously it's been extremely um, tough past 72 hours um, and for something to happen like this so suddenly, it's a complete shock and there's nothing that you can do to really prepare for it. But um, on behalf of, of my family, I'd like to thank not only our friends and, and close family, but the great AFL community um, for all their support um, You know, during this tough time. It's greatly appreciated. Clearly he's a special figure in your life in the, in the last half day have you and the last couple of days have you fully appreciated how special your father was held amongst so many people in football yeah absolutely you know he's touched so many lives and i'm sure you know robbo um you you were quite close with him how much of a vibrant character he was and he was never afraid to share his opinion and, and we loved him for that um and, you know he's he's gonna leave a deep hole in all of our hearts um and you know we'll miss him dearly it's incredibly sad, but at the same time, when someone passes, you often think of the fond times you have with people and 
what sort of character they were as a person. And one thing I loved about your dad, and his forthright opinions on the game. Now, he wasn't right all the time, James, but he had the fortitude to say what was on his mind. Was he like that at home? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, in relation to football, it always drive me into my games. Um, you know, sometimes he'd be sitting inside behind a glass window. So I don't think he was the biggest fan of the cold weather. But um, I think he was just be happy there watching a game of football because um, he just loved it so much. Um, and yeah, I'm really grateful for, for all of that. He was, he was, everyone says he was a recruiter, but he was far more than that. He was a 10 years at Fitzroy, dual all Australian, best and fairest winner. And when he was an assistant coach with Grant Thomas at St Kilda, he really was, and I hope Tomo won't mind me saying this, he really was a strategist while, while Tomo was the, was the motivator. Is that how, how you remember his time at Fitzroy, at St Kilda? Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously I was a young fellow back then. Um, you know, he was there when I was, you know, still really young. But um, he, he was a bit of a strategist and he wouldn't be afraid to, to let you know just how smart he was or anything <laughs> like that. And, you know, him and Tomo were, you know, they were lifelong mates. And, um, you, know, I've, you know, I've spent a bit of time with Tomo the past couple of days and um, he's been so supportive and, um, you know, given me some really sound advice. And, you know, he loved, he loved Matt or Dad very much. Um so he's been great. Did he share his footy stories from his career with you, James, through the years? Um, well, you know, knowing that he was always a bit humble, but, you know, if you'd had a couple of red wines, he'd definitely be there. I mean, you know, just how good he was. You know, other people would, would tell me how good he was. Obviously, he was... Um, a bit before I was a pretty handy player. Did he yeah. speak fondly? Uh, you know, Jared's father worked at Fit Fitzroy and was involved in Fitzroy. Did he, how often or how fondly did he speak of his days at the Fitzroy Football Club? Yeah, yeah, he spoke about it quite a bit, and um, I know he loved it because. He's made, you know, not just about the football, but the relationships he made there. And he made so many lifelong friends. And I know he was still catching up with a lot of them weekly, going for walks um, along the beach. Um, so, you know, and that's what football's all about. It's not about just the football. It's about the relationships and the people you meet along the way. And, um, you know, he was a big advocate of that. James, this platform is yours. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about Matt? <laughs> Yeah, look, there's not much more to be said. Obviously, he was a you know well respected and, and loved figure in the AFL community. But you know, above all, he was a loving father, husband, brother, um, you know, coach, whatever. And um, you know, he's going to leave a deep hole in all of our hearts, and he'll be dearly missed. Our thoughts and prayers are, are with you, James. Is thanks for joining us tonight, and um, yeah, and pass on that love to, to Daniel and to Leonie as well. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.